can see the open box of the DJI iOS D Mark II. Here you can see the very beautiful black box here. It's the DJI iOS D Mark II's main body. Uh, you can see a lot of port on it. Uh, it supplies with two data cables using iOS D with uh, WCAM with GPS or without GPS. And this one is for using it with GPS. Uh, you can plug this 4 pin plug on either port on SD for better arrangement. Uh, you can see here is the battery port connecting with the two XT60 plug here. And also you can see here is the AB in 1, 2, here is the power and the ground here. Uh, okay, uh, so let's, uh, let's see here. Here is the has of uh, AB out port. And also it has the UARD control, battery positive and negative, and AV in uh, grounding. Uh, here you can see a switch, a small port here, switching port. You can use this switch to change the transmitter channel and also switch the cameras, uh, camera 1 and camera 2 on iOS T. Here is a small USB port. You can use this port to update the new firmware and also change parameters on the iOS D. Very, very easy to use. Okay, it supplies with uh, some uh, cables. Okay, this one, the data cable, and another data cable. And this one is the AV-in cable uh, to use with the Zemuse gimbal. Okay, uh, here is also an AV-in, some AV-in cable. Uh, this one is the switch cable connecting to switching port here uh, with two with two pins, and uh, this one is the another AB in cable to link the IFC with the uh, camera one and camera two. Okay, here is the uh, AB out cable to directly connect to the transmitter from DJI. Um, and uh, here we can see another AB out cable to link the IOSD with non DJI brand uh, transmitters. Okay, let me show you uh, the icon definition on the iOS D Mark II. Uh, to, to show it more easier, because we have camera attached, but it's not very easy to, to, to view, so I switched uh, to AB Out 2. Okay, AB Out 2 activity. Here we have uh, some icons. The main icon is like this the artificial horizon here. If I move my copter, it will move, it will sense the IMU position. It will change with the with the multi multi copters position, so you can see obviously the level position, and here is the P and L parameters of the level position. Uh, okay, from the right to left, here we can see the flying angle because we uh, take this video in indoors, so there will be no GPS. So if you fly uh, in the open field, you will see the GPS and see the the cruising angle actually navigation angle. Here is the GPS number, uh, there's zero because it's indoor. Here is the AV, AV in, it's the, the AV in 2 now. Here is the velocity, the velocity, uh, the flying speed, uh, sensed by the WCAM GPS. And uh, here you can see the main flight battery voltage here. Very useful because uh, if you, can, you fly it very far, you you will never want to lose your power due to the dead battery. Okay, here is the uh, channel switch of the DJI transmitter, and here is the actually the uh, altitude altitude sensed by by WCAM2. Here is a mode switch, the mode switch. Okay, I can try to show you the mode switch here. Okay, it's changing. Okay, switch back. Okay. Here you can see the fox icon comes back. I've been, I've been one now. Okay.